Hello and welcome to the second part in our training series. In this lesson, we'll complete our model that we started in part one and this is where we ended. If we just check what we are trying to achieve here, you see that we need to model our pad foundations, you know, the, the slab and also the staircase. So I just request you to make sure that you like this video and also subscribe to my channel. So without wasting much of your time, let me go ahead and start modeling, you know, the we'll start, we are going to start with the floor here. So let me just go to south here by double clicking, say that we need the, the floor on level 2. I'll just double click on that level, then make sure that you go to architecture, then click on the floor and the architecture of floor there. Under the properties there, you see that we have a number of, you know, different types there. I'll just start with generic, you know, 300 millimeter, then click on edit and duplicate it. And I'll just call it maybe 200, just like that. This is just a name for identification purpose. Then I'll click on OK and click on OK. Then here you are going to see that you have some tools that you can use to sketch the boundary. I'll just use the peak lines and make sure that I just pick the edges like that. Okay. Then later on, I, I'll be able to trim. Okay. So that it's that make sure that you click on TR or you can go to trim. Click there. Pick that point. That line. Okay. I just need also to click there and place a line there. Then click on trim there. Pick that line and that line. Make sure that all the corners are trimmed. As you can see from here, I'm just picking those lines. Pick that line and that line, that line and that line. Okay, as you can see, the boundary is complete. Then just click on the green check mark from there. That is level two. If I just go to, to the 3D view, you see that we have the floor on top there. Now let me just change the material. Okay, if I just check the the beam there and go to the material right there i can just copy that material there the name okay Control c from my keyboard then make sure that you select the slab just want to have the same material select the slab there then click on edit type then edit let me try to paste the material there as you can see so I want to have the beams and the slab to have the same material. Then click on OK. OK. And click on OK. As you can see that we have the, the same material. Now what I need to do is to just copy this floor on top there. So what I'll do, I'll just select. Make sure that you select the floor. If you're having challenges selecting the floor, you can just go to tab. OK. Or just make sure that you select like that. Then I'll just copy to my clipboard there and then go to paste. Then align to selected levels. That is level two. I'll pick level three and click on OK. And you see that I have the floor on top there. OK, so before we go to the staircase, let's have our foundation there, the part foundation. So from the south here, once again, we need to open that level, TOF. I'll select to double click to open that level. Then under the structure, okay, make sure that you go to structure this time. This is the isolated, just click on it. Okay, then I'll just, I can as well use this one, but if you want to rename and change the dimensions, just click on edit there. Make sure that you duplicate, you can give it a different name. But as you can see, this is 1.8 by 1.2 by 450. I'll just call it by 200. That is the depth, okay. The thickness actually, click on okay. Then from here, I'm going to change the thickness to 200, okay? I'll maintain the other parameters. Then once you do that, just click on OK. Then from here, I can simply hover my cursor there. If I want to rotate it, just on space bar, you are able to rotate it like that. So I want it to be like that. Then keep on clicking like that. So this way, you are able to place your pad foundations in that simple manner. Okay, if I want to place all of them at once, just go to add grids. Okay, then from left to right, doesn't matter. You can select like that. Release the mouse. Okay, that is the preview. Make sure that you click on finish 
and if I just escape there, see that I have my pad foundations. Let me go to my 3D view and you see that the foundations are there. Okay, now if we check here, you see that we have the staircase there. So to do that, I'll just go to level one. Okay, let me just check from one of the elevations here. If I just go to south here, see that the staircase is starting from level one right here. So I'll go back to, I'll just close this one and go back to my model. Make sure that I go to level, level one right here. Okay, just a moment. I'll just close that one. Check within my view here. This is level one. So make sure that you open that level. It's under the structural plans. Open there. Then for this one, what I'm going to do is to just, you know, create, you know, the beam there where the staircase will be anchored. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to just go to that view. I need to check this beam. I just want to use this one. All right so i want to use that size which is 250 230 by 250 so i'll go there then go to architecture actually structure then make sure that i pick the beam which is the 230 okay by 250 that's the one that i want then i'll just make sure that from here okay from here up to there that's where i need the beam then click on modify as you can see now i can start you know creating my staircase here what you need to do just go to architecture for the stair then click on stair right there then under the property stair i can click and pick the monolithic stair that's the one i want to use click on it okay then click on edit type right there then you can change the parameters here the riser just want to use 150 for the riser then the trade depth, I want to use 250. Then the minimum run width, I want to use 1200, which is 1 1.2 meters. Once you do that, make sure that you just click on apply. Okay. So again, what you just need to make sure is before you start adjusting here, make it a custom to make sure that you duplicate. So I'll just cancel this. Okay. I'll call it monolithic stair 2. This is just a name. Make sure that you duplicate it. Click OK. Then you can go ahead and for the for the run width, then the run type, the landing type, make sure that this is 200. Remember the thickness of the floor is 200. So I'll also make sure that the landing is 200. Click OK. So we are happy there. Then all you need to do is just click on OK. Once you click on OK, you can check the desired number of risers. We have 20, so you can calculate. The 150 in 3 meters, you see that you're supposed to get 20. The actual trade depth, that is OK. And that is the renamed stair, as you can see. You can see from here, the actual run width is the 1.2, as we specified. So now we need the stair right here. So I'll make sure that I change this one to left, location 9. I can click there and pick left. Then I'll just start it from somewhere here. I can start from the from the center there. I pick that one and just pick that line. So you can see that left is like that. So I can switch to right so that I'm able is is able to go in the other direction. Then make sure that you end up to 10. As you can see, 10 is right there. Then click there. Then just go in the other direction that point there and make sure that this time we have to use left pick left there then that point there you're able to move it like that you see that it's going to end right where you started and click okay once you do that make sure that you just click on the green check mark and click on cancel okay let me just go to my 3d view right there now you remember that i'm not able to see this to see the stair there is because this is a, a structural template for stairs is under architecture so i can simply go to visibility graphics vg on my keyboard okay and then let me find the stairs okay then you can see that it's not checked so make sure that you check it right there then click on apply and click ok and you'll be able to see your stair right there as you can see okay starting on that beam as you can see from there 
so what you need to do once again is to make sure that you just copy this stair to go up so let me just select on the stair there okay before that let me just go to uh, is it level one there okay then i just need to cut a section right there or if i went to south elevation there i have the stair so i can still select that stair there then let me click on you know select levels okay i just want to copy this stair on top there and we use the multi-story stairs this is the tool that you can use then what you need to do is just click on connect levels it's already selected as you can see so it's just a matter of picking that level and you are going to have that stair on top i'll just click on that and then click on finish as you can see that is copied on the on the other floor so if i just go back on the three in the 3d view there you see that i have my stair right there now from here you see that we need to cut you know that opening there so there's a tool that you are going to use the shaft opening okay so let me just go once again to to that level there okay then make sure that you should be on a level where you are able to select the let me just go to level two where you're able to select the floor and let me change to fine and let me change to shaded okay so that i'm able to see the floor okay now right here i can just go to architecture then shaft this is a shaft opening click there okay then then click on the rectangle okay if i'm not seeing the boundaries i can change this one to wireframe so that i'm able to see the stair be able to sketch then i'm just going to create an opening of course this is a beam i just want to create an opening from there up to somewhere there okay and then click on the green check mark then if i go to my 3d view you see that that is the shaft opening now this one can be edited print and connected that's why it's just going all the way so you can change from here okay the opening there but in this case you know i can drag it up to maybe somewhere here because there's nothing to cut on top then down here if i want i can even you know extend it down further there or if you want you can just you know adjust from base constraint and the top constraint in this case uh the base uh, that is level two that is okay and the base offset let me just have negative maybe 500 you can see that it adjusts then level two to level three then the top constraint just want to go to level three as you can see it adjusts there if i click outside you see that you are cutting okay like that as you can see from here okay so if you want something like the way i want also to be seeing the beams there if that's something that you want you can go ahead and just change the the surface you know the transparency for the floor i can simply do that as the last part select on the floor there right click then override graphics by element and i just want to change the the transparency right there maybe up to somewhere there click on apply and click ok and then click outside and this you can do the same on the other one so this way you are able to create you know something similar to this and we are done as you can see from here so once again like this video if you like it and also subscribe to my channel for more videos on this wonderful channel